5 Awesome Features on Graphene OS that Apple iOS does not have. Number 1. Per Connection Mac Randomization On iOS, you have the option to enable private Wi-Fi address, which randomizes the device's Mac address. This is great to avoid revealing your phone's actual hardware Mac address. However, the private Wi-Fi address assigned is static. With Graphene OS, you have the option to choose Use Per Network Randomized Mac, which accomplishes the same feature as we just discussed with Apple's iOS. However, Graphene OS provides another option called Use Per Connection Randomized Mac, and this is enabled by default. The feature randomizes your Mac address each time you connect to Wi-Fi. Want a quick way to randomize your Mac address? Just disconnect Wi-Fi, reconnect, and you'll have a new Mac address. Number two, built-in network firewall. On iOS, you have the ability to control permissions such as microphone and camera access, location data, and more. However, there is no ability to completely disable network access to apps. So all apps on your phone will have network access whenever connected to cell data or Wi-Fi. With Graphene OS, you have the ability to turn off network permissions on a per app basis. For example, if you want to use Google Camera, but you are worried that the app may send telemetry without your knowledge, just disable network permissions and you can rest assured that the app will not send any telemetry because it has no network access. Number three, user profiles. On iOS, it's pretty simple. You only have one user account. There is no separating personal, work, school, or other activities you may use your phone for. With Graphene OS, you have the ability to separate your data with user profiles. Let's say that your work requires you to use Google products and has a BYOD program. Just create another user profile dedicated for work, load your work apps on that profile, and you've now separated your personal and work data from each other. A bonus is that at the end of your workday, you can end your session and separate your life from work. However, if you need to stay connected to work, you can always have notifications sent to the current profile you are on so that you can be alerted when an important message comes in. Number four, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth auto timeout. On iOS, your Wi-Fi and Bluetooth will remain on unless you specifically turn it off. With Graphene OS, you're able to set a timeout duration. Let's say that you're connected to Wi-Fi and a Bluetooth speaker at home. If you have a 15 second timeout interval, once you leave your home, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth will automatically turn off after 15 seconds. Now you can be sure that every time you leave your home, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth are not unnecessarily pinging nearby devices. And number five, storage scopes. On iOS, you have the ability to give an app permission to select photos or videos of your choosing. This is a great feature that Apple has added recently to restrict the access that apps have. To my understanding, this is only available for restricting access to photos and videos, and there is no control over other file types like Word docs or PDFs. Graphene OS takes it to a whole new level with storage scopes. When enabling storage scopes, the app only allows access to files that the app created itself and denies itself access to all other files. In addition, a user can allow access to specific files, which is similar to iOS, but with Graphene OS, you can also grant access to folders. I hope you enjoyed learning about these five Graphene OS features. If you enjoy other Graphene OS features not found on Apple iOS that I haven't discussed here, Share them in the comments below.